So today's my last day in Missouri to ride during this trip, but first I gotta make a stop and get a couple essentials. <laughs> Gas. And of course, energy. All right, so I'm out riding in flat, nasty ATV park today. Now, you probably saw from that intro clip, the weather is terrible out here. Everything's like an ice rink. It's a terrible day to go riding, but it's my last opportunity while in Missouri. So this is like the third trail I think I've hit since I've been here uh, on this trip to Missouri. It's the last opportunity I'm gonna get. I didn't want to give it up, so we're gonna ride anyway. All right guys, here we go. Hope this new microphone works. I'm trying yet another new one because I've had no luck. Man, my quad's still cold. So this is uh, probably one of the dumbest times I've ever gone riding because this is supposed to be a pretty advanced ATV park and uh, everything is iced. I mean, even the, the gravel, it's all iced. Everything is iced right now. So like this, you probably can't tell in the video, but it's pretty steep. So I just hope that I'm able to get back up it because I mean, even the rocks are frozen. And speaking of rocks, I'm sitting on one. I mean, everything is just, I'm, I'm sliding down this hill right now. So, uh, yeah, it should make for an interesting experience to say the least, but I've heard a lot about Flat Nasty. I don't think I'm gonna get the full experience simply because it's, it's winter time and everything's frozen and, and all that. But, uh, you know, at least I'm out here checking it out and uh, I'll be able to tell other people about it. I'll probably do a review on this one, but it'll kind of be a, a mediocre review, you know, not not as in-depth as my normal one simply because I don't think I'm gonna get the full experience, but at least I can give people an idea of what I experienced. Yep, oh, whoa! Did not think I was gonna make it up that one. Sliding all over the place. Good times though. So yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. I got distracted by that. Oh yeah, uh, I'll probably do a review video on it, but it'll be a little, a little more basic just because I probably am not gonna be able to speak too much about this trail. Hopefully I don't get hurt out here. Jeez, once again, this is a freaking steep, uh, this is a, this is a terrible idea to come riding. Not only out here when everything is iced over, but when it's freaking when I'm alone. I'm like literally the only dumbass cheese on. Uh, am I gonna make it? Uh. Yep, yeah, there we go. I didn't mean to swear. I forgot I don't do that on this channel. My bad. I apologize. But yeah, I'm the only dumbass. Like, oh, dang it. I swore again. I'm the only individual who was, uh, stupid enough to come riding today. I mean, this is a pretty popular park and I'm the only idiot out here on a Sunday. It goes to show you, it's not really a good day to be riding, but I just can't pass up a good opportunity or a dumb opportunity. Um, so, as, it, as I've discovered so far, there's campgrounds here, which seem uh, decent. They have a uh, hookup for for those with trailers. So they got power, which is nice. I, I didn't really check too much into them. The park itself is $20 for the day, and then uh, I think if you are if you have a side-by-side -side with an additional rider, I think it's another five bucks. So it's like 20 bucks for one person in the machine, and then five bucks for every person thereafter, I believe, and then another machine's another $20, I think. I'll have to double check that on my way out again, but uh, Either way, not terrible, you know, not terrible. 20 bucks is doable for the day. 
I think it should be 20 bucks per machine personally when they try and throw on that extra charge because you have a s extra person on your side by side. I, I get kind of, I think that's a little bit much, you know, like go by machine because the machine's what's taking up space. Like the extra person's not destroying the trail anymore. You know what I mean? But I understand everybody's got to, you know, uh, make a make a profit from their business and whatnot. So I'm not like super upset about it. I mean, it's not enough that would keep me from, oh, keep me from coming back here or anything like that. You know, this definitely seems like a cool place to ride. That's for sure. Man, I'm telling you guys, the only thing that's keeping me from sliding all over the place is the fact that this is so rocky. Because the rocks themselves are covered with ice, but since it's so jagged, you know, it's it's allowing me to actually get some grip on them all. Boy, this is, uh, this is some beasts of, uh, trails back here. Better get some going for this one. Come on, baby. Yeah. All day. Got it all day. This would be an awesome trail to get the side-by-side -side on. Although I say that about every trail. Whatever like ATV I don't have, I'm always like, oh man, it'd be great to get that one out here. So let's be honest. No matter what you got, if you're out here riding, it's a good time. I don't care if it's a 1982 Honda. She runs, she'll keep you on the trail. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Although I will say this is not a good three-wheeler trail. That for sure I would leave off the list. Jeez, those are kind of just in the trail, huh? I wish I had more time this trip to ride. I should say I wish I would have had more time to ride this trip. I, uh, I'm ready to go home, don't get me wrong. I've been away for quite a while on this trip and uh, I travel a lot for work, so, you know, I'm uh, definitely ready to get home to my family, who I very much miss, but uh, I would have liked to have gotten out more than, I think I've only gotten out three times on this trip, so, I mean, not, oh, 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 not bad, you know, but uh, I would have liked to have gotten out at least two more times. There's, there's a lot of places to ride in Missouri. It kind of took me a while to find them, but as I started to discover them, then it became that issue of, uh oh, I'm stuck on a rock. There we go. Then it became that issue of, like, which one do I want to try the most? You know what I mean? So my phone's already dead. So I get for not charging it up all the way. But I remembered I brought, I always bring this with me. I think I did a video on it. It's an awesome trail item. I'll, uh, I'll link it up. I'm a little out of breath because I just got done spinning my tires and having to pour my, pull the four-wheeler out of the, out of an icy rocky area. Anyway. I'll link this up in the description. These battery packs are awesome. They'll charge your phone like four or five times, I think. So, uh, yeah, it's really cool. I've had it for, God, probably at least a year now, and it's it's awesome, and it holds a charge really well, so I'll just throw it in my bag, leave it in there until I need it, and it'll still have a good, like right now, still got half a charge. So I'll probably charge it tonight, but I've used this multiple times. It hasn't been charged in a while, so they're pretty awesome. And if you're like me and forget to charge your phone, even better because I don't like to be out without my phone especially if I ride alone so if I didn't have this I would probably end up going back but this buys me more time on the trail I could probably make that one in the quad don't hit that one. Oh, I hit it Come 
Come on, baby. Oh, shit. shoot, I mean. I said shoot, right? I just want to, uh, I want to explain to you guys how slippery this is, okay? Like, I mean, I hear the camera here. Whew, I mean, this is like, like I'm gonna try and walk up this. Cause see, I just went over this, so it's not, I dug away the ice, but like, I'm not exaggerating that this is so freaking icy. I can like barely walk up it. I mean, it's friggin' nuts. I mean, it's insane. Like, it shouldn't be that bad. It's gravel, but because of all the ice we got, jeez, try walking over here. Because of the layer of ice on everything, it's just insane out here. This is a fun trail. Even on this Honda, the fact that I can't ride, you know, as many of the uh, technical areas, it's just, it's still just a blast. And then, I mean, having the Honda out here definitely has some advantages as well, you know, I mean, it's always a good time. Alrighty. Oof. Oh, scraping a little bit on that one. All right. Nope. That, that is not how that's supposed to happen. But I'm okay. But that is definitely not how that's supposed to happen. I hope it starts again because I'm still a ways out. Well, just got done rolling down that as you saw. Make it over to the machine here. I really hope it's all right. It rolled. It took the Honda took the roll pretty well. Really, part is I'm out here alone. Excuse me. The really crappy part is I'm out here alone, and I hope she starts back up all right. Hey, it knocked a bunch of the ice off though. Man, that Honda took it well. Look at this. Look at this. No cracked plastics. Not one piece of plastic is cracked on that. I'll tell you what. If if it's one thing. I'm still a little out of breath from climbing up and down that hill. I mean, you know, and having a four-wheeler roll over on top of me. That, uh, if there's one thing that these Hondas, they just, they just freaking keep going. I mean, that thing rolled like three times. Everything seems fine. Now, obviously, I'll have to try and start it, make sure everything starts up. It might be flooded or something else, but the chain's still on. Like, everything otherwise seems totally fine. Oh, remember that battery pack we talked about earlier? There's that, so go ahead and uh, see if we can get her started and get back on the trail. Cause we're only about probably two miles. We're probably about a mile or two from, from the trailhead. So hopefully she starts. Now comes the real question. Is she gonna start for me? Oh no, I did bend up. Did I bend the handlebars or is that just, 
it in neutral. Oh, I think this just bent. Oh, no. I mean, that's not the end of the world. I just, it's so, t I can't bend it back right now. Ugh. Oh, I can't, look at that. Oh, I'm rolling. Ugh. Huh? Yeah. Let's see if she rides. Handle, the handlebars seem fine, but uh, even this is a little messed up. See, that's not down that far normally. But I think it might just be out of place. Well, so far she seems all right. For the most part, I mean, I've got a couple pieces that I'm gonna either have to, I don't know if it's just a little bent or if it's, I mean, if it's just a, uh, needs to be realigned, readjusted a little bit, or if the brakes are actually bent a little. I'll take a look at them when I get back here. Oh man, that video, that video is not gonna do that rollover justice. Like. There's no way, I just, I still have not figured out how to get a video to truly show how steep something is, or like how high a hill is, you know, you know what I mean, the, the grade, like how much it is, like every time I watch the videos back, they never look as bad as they actually are when you're on them, you know, they're, they're, they're really steep, but you see the video and you're like, oh, that doesn't look that bad, so I'm still trying to figure out how to properly, oh, come on, still trying to figure out how to properly portray, portray, how steep these hills are. I mean, not this one per se. This one's just more rocky than anything. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, we are back. That was a freaking blast. I mean, like, despite having my machine roll over on me, that was a freaking blast. trail was awesome i mean i had a great time i don't even think i hit half the trails and i was out there for quite a while and especially considering i had a machine roll over on top of me to be able to finish the trail and still say i had an awesome time really says a lot about this trail so if you ever get the chance definitely check it out i know i'll be back here otherwise that's all i got do me a favor and smash that subscribe button thanks for watching and we'll see you on the trail